Hey guys, welcome back to Genji Plans. Uh, today I am doing another garden update. It's been a little while. Um, the last one I did was over on Instagram stories. It's still um, highlighted uh, on my profile if you want to check me out at uh, Genji Plans over on Instagram. But I'm going to show you what is up. I think the last time I did a YouTube update that we had like just planted and now as you can see things are getting pretty leafy. So let's take a look. This is the side closest to the house. This is the north side of the garden. Um, we've got parsley here, which is doing good. I did a whole big um, harvest of it to make um, penne alla vodka, and then it's just now kind of growing back a little bit more. I think if I needed to harvest some, I would harvest this one, this one, and this one, maybe this one too. Um, it's looking good. The base is a little bit droopy, and it keeps trying to bolt, but I've done a really good job of um, pruning it right so that it's getting nice and bushy which I do appreciate. I think it's just the weather has been a little bit hot and cold. Um, I tried to propagate some. This one here has now lost all of its leaves for some reason so is this one. I think it's just probably the caterpillars. But this one over here again also trying to bolt which I think again attributed to the weather is still alive. Back here we have green onions that are doing okay. I need to harvest them more often, but I feel like I always want more than what's available, so I just keep leaving them. The big ones are from the grocery store, um, and then the little ones are from seed. These uh, marigolds, I think that the dead flowers are just, they, they bloom for a very short amount of time, and I should probably go through and deadhead everything. The plant's still alive though, and it's just, I think, needs to grow more blooms. There was a whole big amount uh, that uh, bloomed all at once a few weeks ago and now they're all dead and we're waiting for some new ones to pop up so I just keep watering it. This was going to be lettuce and that never panned out. I ended up trying to um, start some from seed in a little egg carton and it was, you know, got a little bit less sun so that it was doing a lot better and then we got one day of super hot weather and slowed down since the weather warmed up. I really think I need to try more leafy greens more in the fall as the weather starts to cool down. So I'm just kind of <laughs> counting that as a bit of a loss for now, though we have gotten some good spinach to use in pestos and stuff. The corn is nice and tall. I would say that's about, well, that's about a foot tall, so I'd say it's about five feet. Um, we've got tassels on all of them and a few ears. This is the one that's got the most growth so far. You can see it's got its little silks up top and I hand pollinated it um, to make sure that it would get everything. There's the only one that has silks so far, but there's some more ears that have been forming here. Um, yeah, here. So looking forward to that when it eventually gets there. Corn grows very fast at the beginning, and then it seems like it takes forever for the actual fruit to form. On this side is my zucchini plant. It is in a cage. The idea being keeping the footprint small and also, in theory, making the fruit more accessible. It's still really difficult to get under here and find the zucchinis. I just pulled like two off of here yesterday. But we've got a couple in the back there that are growing. I don't know if you can see like this one here. It's going to get big in maybe a week or so. The yellow squash, this one died and then needed to be replanted, and it is not growing as fast as the zucchini. I thought it would grow at the same speed, but it's not. Um, so here, here, this one it is the other marigold, and it also kind of looks a little dead because I need to go through and pull off all the dead flowers. Uh, but as you can see, it still has some nice bright yellow flowers going, so I think it was just the same thing as happened with the other one. Um, and it just needs a little bit more love. This oregano also has a lot of brown stuff on it. I'm not worried though, because for one thing, I don't really care because I don't know what to do with oregano, and I hear that it's a really aggressive plant, so I'm not worried about it not doing well. Um, this is the pickle vine, so I'm going to come around the other side and show you. I've got four pickle bush cucumber plants going here. Um, this is the front of the litter on this side. And then there's 
some vines that kind of go all across and we've got see nice big one this is pretty big that's one I think I'm gonna leave uh, there's a few yeah yeah this one also ready to go so there's like three or four on here that I'm gonna harvest today and make some pickles so that is what you get to do with me um, but first let me show you the rest uh, these are carrots and then I also planted carrots all the way across mm -hmm. this row um, but these are the ones that I planted first so they are the biggest and I have to figure out when they're going to be ready to go. The rest, there's some that didn't make it and others that did. They're very small and it's hard to see, probably, from here. This tomato situation is ridiculous. So these are the kinds of cages that they had at the store when my husband went. And it's just, they're not, they're not sufficient to hold up these plants. And so we've got this sort of contraption made out of PVC from the garage and rope. And it's holding them over from falling. But that is about it. It is a mess and I'm just kind of, like I can't be bothered to go in there and try to fix it again. But I have plans already for next year to try to do a single stem method um, with stakes instead of this. Because it just I need to be able to see what's going on and get in there and prune more often. And it's just... This is ridiculous. I'm also having the issue of, oh gosh, aphids and flower and rot. So this is, I thought the tomatoes would be just like a 100% win kind of a situation, but it's it's been difficult. And I'm not really sure how many of these we're gonna get. This is the Romas. I still don't really have any, barely any flowers. So I think this is going to be a really late bloomer, if at all. And you know what? Whatever. If we don't get a lot of tomatoes, then I guess that's just what the situation is. So anyway, that's the tour of things. Some are hits and others are misses. Um, but this is where we are right now at the end of June. And um, the one thing that currently is making me super excited about the garden is the pickles. I've done one cucumber so far I made pickles and it was great and like you saw I have like three or four ready to go right now so I'm gonna go ahead and harvest those and then I'm gonna show you how to do um, the pickle recipe that I've been doing I'm just doing it in cold pickles or refrigerator pickles and it's really simple and so I wanted to show you Do you want to help me make pickles? Huh. Okay. I'm going to cut up the pickles. Cut up in this. Oh, no, you don't need to open that one. We're going to use a different one, okay? Okay. Open one. All right. Open so one. I'm going to cut up the pickles first, okay? Open I'm going to cut these into big, long shapes. Do you like big, long pickles or um, short, round pickles? Which ones do you like the best? The daddy one. The daddy one. The daddy one. Look. Yeah, the daddy one first. All right. Let me kind of chop off the ends here a little bit. It's very tight. All right, Agnes. Can you put these into the jar like this? Maybe you mean you put it in the second jar. In the second jar? Uh-huh. And this one? Uh-huh. And that one? Yeah. And this first? Uh-huh. There. Yeah. Wow, very good. All right, let's see. Can you put a piece of dill inside each jar? Oh. Can you put a piece of dill inside each jar? Well, just one, or maybe two. Put, put two pieces inside each jar. Here, sweetie. Yeah, here. What is that? 
Yeah, just like that. Star Wars. No, this time they dashed the big dots. Uh huh. They ate a and then it lights up. Oh, it lights up. Yeah, exactly. Here, Agnes, can you put these inside one of the jars? Which jar are you going to put? There. There it is. Oh, it's okay. Leave it there. It's supposed to be inside. Which jar are you going to put garlic in next? Which jar will you put garlic in next? This one or this one? Uh, my one. This one or this one? Okay? Okay. Maybe the small one. Uh, we need to use the big one. We need two tablespoons of vinegar. Like this. Can you help me count? Two, one. Three. And two. Very good. Okay, and now me, we need me, 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 me. Uh, the lid. Now we need three teaspoons. Three quarters of a teaspoon of pickling spices. I put way too many last time. This is the peppers and things, all right? Mama, can I pick them? Yes, let's see. Uh, we need three of this, okay? Can you help me count? Me, 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 me. Here we go. One. Me, 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 me. All right, here, can you pour them in? Great job, thank you. All right, now we need four teaspoons of salt. How about Oh, I know that goes in the jar. Which jar does that go in? Oh, okay. Can you count to four? One. Four. Oh yeah, good job. Two. Two. Three. Four. Alright. That's all we need. Uh-huh, that's all we need of that. And now we need uh that's it. Now we're gonna mix it. Can you help me mix it very slowly with a spoon? Mix very slowly, okay, so it doesn't spill. Perfect. It is, yeah. How about we pour it in yep. the bowl? Now we're going to pour it into the jars, okay? Pour it in the jar. Mm -hmm. Pour it, the pour it a little bit in each one so all of the uh, spices get allocated roughly evenly. About that one. Mm-hmm. I'm going to turn it to close it. They can, yeah. Turn it to close it. Close, close, close. Like this. Close, close, close. And look at that. We made pickles. See that? Beautiful. How old is that? Do you want to try to shake it? Get the spices all down in there. All right. Let's put them in the fridge, okay? Whoa, are you going to try to carry all of them at once? Sure. 
a stool? Can we get a Sure, I want to show everybody. These are the pickles that we made on June 17th. Do you want to taste one, Agnes? Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, pickle? Yes, you can. Uh, yes, you can. Uh huh. All right, I'm going to open up the jar and I'm going to, oof, I'm going to get us each a pickle to try. They've been in here for a while and we've been eating them. Here you go. Mommy, you want one? Yes, I do. All right, tell me, how is it? Do you like it? Is it very, very yummy? No, is it really sour? My dad for me. I did. You didn't end the Oh, no. I did. I'm glad you like them. Where's the pickle? I ate it all gone. Oh. I'm going to eat my pickle all gone. Okay. Mama, I have to move. Sure. All right, can you, first, can you say bye bye? Thank you for watching. Bye bye. Thank you. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. No? Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.